Hey, good evening, everybody. Hello, Wilder. Hello, uh, Carla, Roxana. Hello, Eva. Hello, Jancy. Good evening, Melissa. Stephanie. Ana Guevara. Hello. Hi, teacher. Hi, uh, Swanny. <coughs> Joanna. Hi, teacher. Hi there. Do the favor to activate your camera, please. We're going to start in a minute. Thank you very much, Carla. Hello, William. Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening. Thank you, Joanna. Do me the favor to activate camera, right? Remember, it's important to interact that way. <clears throat> Okay, William Mejia, good evening. Wilder. Good evening, teacher. Hello, hello, Roxana. How is everything? How are you today? Yeah, uh, that's uh, all. It's okay. <laughs> Everything's all right. Good. Okay. Good to know. I hope that you are more than ready to participate tonight. Yes. Okay. Now, I'm still waiting for the rest of the people. I only have 12 particip participants and still waiting for the rest. Okay, meanwhile, the rest of the people got there. Let us see if we can share some information about the activities we started with yesterday. For yes. example, the video activity about, about the movie. Do you remember about the homework? Yes. Now, are you ready with the homework? Yes. What is the homework all about, Roxana? Okay. Uh, the homework is about the movie, The Crocs. Um, the Crocs family run uh, to catch the egg. And the other animals all right. run, run to catch the egg too. That was it? That's all. <laughs> That's all. That was enough, right? Fantastic. Okay, thanks. Uh, what about what about the rest? Carla, I don't know if you got something from the video. Carla Olivia. Then we're gonna listen to Joanna, okay? Good evening. <laughs> Good evening. Um, the people and um, I found their eggs for um it it's something it <laughs> egg <laughs> um I run is it run it's run and different animals that's all that's uh okay Joanna what did you get <clears throat> Anna, with the loop in. Yes. Uh -huh. Tell me about the, uh, you, the homework. And about the video. Uh -huh. um, for me, it's so funny <laughs> because the, the animals and the family and so mm -hmm. the family is the crazy. <laughs> and um for me I like the grandma mm -hmm. because for for <coughs> vestimenta como es por su vestimenta mm -hmm. and because of the the way they 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 get dressed okay yeah. <coughs> mm -hmm. Okay, anybody else? Thank you, uh, Shuana. Anybody else with the video activity? <clears throat> well, me, what do you think about it? I will check list the tenants. Let me know if you are present. And let me know if you... are ready to start tonight. Today is September the 
the 19th. Yeah, Tuesday, September the 19th, 2023. Abigail, <coughs> Abigail, are you there? List attendance. Eh, Ana Maria. <clears throat> okay, Ana Maria is here. Very good. That's good. That's good. Ana Maria. Yeah, I don't know what's okay. And um, Ana Maria Emily. Present teacher. Okay. Carlos David. <clears throat> Daniel Alejandra. Diana Saray. Present teacher. Okay. Emma Débora. Emma Débora. Eva Margarita. Present. Gabriela Lisset. Jacqueline Jeanette. Joana Guadalupe. Present. Joana is there. Carla no, Olivia. Present. Yeah. Present. Carla Olivia is there. Melissa Giselle. Present. Raul Alexander. Rosa Elizabeth. Rosa Feliciana. Present. Roxana Yanira. Present. Ruth Noemi. Present. Zaira Abigail. Zaira. Sara Vanessa. Sara, Silvia Noemi, Stephanie Carolina, present. Very good, Stephanie. Swanny, present. Swanny is here. Wilder, present, teacher. William Vladimir, present. Okay, William, William Alfredo. <coughs> John C. John C. Stephanie. Ah, okay. uh, John C. Okay. Stephanie. Good. And Jenny Guadalupe. Jenny, Jenny. Okay, first time I check list attendance, then I will check it later on. Don't worry. Well, uh, yesterday we were talking about simple past tense, right? <clears throat> I have some, some exercises, some information that we need to go through. <clears throat> and I will share the screen now. Let me see. Silvia says, Silvia Campos is over here. Silvia Campos. Silvia is present. Good. Okay, here we go, people. We're gonna start. Pay attention because yesterday we were talking about the exercise, these exercises, uh, the irregular verbs. Okay, we checked a little bit about it. And tonight we're gonna see something related to just no questions in simple past tense. Or simple past tense um, with interrogative statements. So we're gonna see the information here 
uh, the way we built up sentences, uh, I mean questions in English in a past form. Here we go, pay attention. We'll add the uh, Teacher, no se escucha. You don't listen to it? Well, give me a second. Let me see if, if I... Well, it is supposed to be listen. I mean, so we're going to... I will leave it. Uh, uh, over here, there, we had a problem. So here we go. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is... Hi, everyone. In this class ask and answer simple past yes or no questions. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used. Let's get started by listening to a conversation title, Did You Like It? Let's listen and practice. Did you like it? So, did you go anywhere last summer? Yes, I did. My sister and I went to Arizona. We saw the Grand Canyon. Really? Did you like it? Oh, yes. We loved it. Did you go hiking there? No, we didn't. Actually, we rode horses. And we also went whitewater rafting on the Colorado River. Wow! Did you have fun? Yes, we did. We had a great time. Let's take a look at the questions on this chart. Simple past yes no questions. Did you have a good summer? Yes, I did. I had a great summer. Did you play volleyball? No, I didn't. I played tennis. Did Erica like her vacation? Yes, she did. She liked it a lot. Did Erica and her sister go to Colorado? No, they didn't. They went to Arizona. In order to form simple past yes or no questions, we can follow this formula. Auxiliary did plus subject plus the verb in the present plus complement. Let's analyze a couple of questions. Did you have a good summer? First, we will add the auxiliary verb did. Next, we need to include the subject, you. After that, we will add the verb in the present tense, have. I would like to point out that the verb doesn't change to the past because we are using the auxiliary verb did. Finally, we add a complement and a question mark, a good summer. To answer this question, we can answer either positively by saying, yes, I did, or negatively by saying, no, I didn't. In our example, we can see that the question was answered positively, yes, I did. Then extra information is given, I had a great summer. Notice that the verb now changed to the past tense have turn into had. Let's analyze one more question. I'll choose the last one on this chart. Did Erica and her sister go to Colorado? First, we'll add the auxiliary did. Next, we need to include the subject, Erica and her sister. After that, we will add the verb in the present tense, go. I would like to point out that the verb doesn't change to the past because we are using the auxiliary did. Finally, we add a complement and a question mark to Colorado. To answer this question, we can answer either positively by saying, yes, they did, 
or negatively by saying no they didn't in our example we can see that it is answered by saying no they didn't then extra information is given they went to Arizona notice that the verb now changed to the past tense go turned into went now it's your turn to practice I would like for you to think about your last vacation and practice making questions and answers about it after you finish this activity share your work in our discussion forums okay simple like that right simple like that i think this this information Dude, my sister and i went to arizona canyon we loved it Did on the colorado river look at the questions now on. this information is quite simple but quite important okay so as you can see we all the time in order to create questions we're going to have one auxiliary at the beginning right if we want to create just no question what is that auxiliary hello hello did did. Did. did right so that's why we have did 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 and did so we have auxiliary did for pass for past statement, right? Auxiliary did for past. Did you play? Did you have? Did you did Erica lie? Did Erica and her sister go? Etc. But that okay. is for simple past, right? So let me see. I think the the guy. Uh, okay, the guy was just explaining something over here that I consider it's important because the person said. If we follow the pattern, si seguimos el patrón que nos han dado, ¿cómo crearíamos una pregunta acá? Did, um, did you? Did you? Did. Comenzamos con did. All right. Did, 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 did you play volleyball? Did you play, play volleyball? Volleyball. Play soccer. I think that's volleyball, right? No. No. How does how do you spell volleyball? Other B. Other B. B. O. No. No. B. O. B. O. O. Okay. That's okay. That's volleyball, right? right? Okay. Very good. Now, do you play volleyball? Uh, yes. but you're missing question mark over here, right? Question mark. So, and we are following the pattern. Estamos siguiendo el patrón que nos dan ahí arriba, miren. El auxiliar okay. did, el sujeto, el verbo, ¿cómo tiene que ir? En presente. Presente. Ok, presente. ahí está, ahí está el verbo. Y necesitamos un complemento. That's what we have here. Ok. So, hey, do you play volleyball? Possible answers? Yes. No. I did no. or no? no? No, I, I did. did. Yes, I, I did. Or no, I, I didn't. didn't. Now, so that is actually the topic for tonight. I have some exercises, but before going to the other exercises, let me see. Just a question over here. Let me see. There's a question here. Did, did it work? Uh, during the weekend. That's a good question, Eva. Okay, we need to unscramble. You know, unscramble the questions that are here. First one I have, watch television did you last night? What is the sentence here? What is the question? Did you watch did huh? you watch television, television last night? Did you watch television last night? Television last night? Last night. And a question mark. Okay, number two. Have dinner you did last night? Did you have did dinner last 
Did you have dinner last night? Only that, right? Yes. Hey, go to work yesterday, you did. Did you did go, you go to, work to, work to work yesterday? Did you go to work yesterday? Hey, did you go to work yesterday? And the last one, I think, go to the movies they did on, the, on Wednesday. Did, did they go, go to the movies on Wednesday? Did they go to the movies on Wednesday? Did they go to the movies on Wednesday? On Wednesday, let's see the answers. <laughs> the first one we have here is, did you have a good note? That's an example, right? Did you watch television last night? Good. Uh, did you have dinner last night? Did you have dinner last night? Did you go to work yesterday? Did you go to work yesterday? And the last one, um, did they go to the movies on Wednesday? Did they go to the movies on Wednesday? Um. It's okay, very good. So you got a 10 here. Good. Excellent job. So, but I have some more info here. Over here, uh, there is a different exercise. Now, you will see the, the example or the, the exercise. Like, here I have an example. John had red hair. Está una oración positiva. He becomes. ¿Qué me dice que significa el verbo becomes? Como... Venir. Llegar. Okay. Okay, but in this case, John had her red head had red hair becomes did John have red hair? So de esta oración positiva, de esa misma información se crea la pregunta. Okay, so let's see the first. So they were happy together. Vayan escribiéndome en el chat. De ahí la voy a ir copiando yo. ¿Cómo tiene que ir la respuesta acá? Que el primer, el, el primero que vea en el chat, ese pues, va a ser el ejemplo que yo voy a colocar acá. Entiendo, teacher. ¿Vamos a hacer preguntas o, o las vamos a, 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 a pasar a, a pasar o qué es lo que vamos a hacer? Okay, so you have this, for example. And let me see, yes, this is, this is. ¿Está en qué tipo de oración tenemos? En, está en presente. Presente. ¿Está en presente? De, oh, no, en no, pasado. No. Wow. Well, right. Está, está en pasado. En pasado. Okay, está en pasado. Entonces, acá. Es pasado simple, ¿verdad? Pregunta: ¿es, es una oración positiva? Ah, ¿O es la... una negativa? ¿O es una pregunta? Una oración positiva. Es, positiva. Ah, es una positiva. Entonces, positiva. esta la vamos a cambiar a pre... una pregunta. 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 interrogativa. Ah, muy bien. Ok. Pretty good. Thanks, okay. Steve. You're welcome. Okay, solo si necesito que la vayan colocando en el chat. Okay, let me see. They, did they are happy together? Okay, so Diana. Ya luego vamos a ir viendo si está bien o no está bien. O oh, si no está bien, ¿cómo la podemos arreglar? Okay, there is the first one. The second one. The second one. Now, let us work little by little. What qué, qué verbo tenemos acá en pasado? Eh, cero estar to be. To be. They were to be in the past, right? In pasado, yes. no? Yes. Yes. Vale, cuando tenemos este verbo en pasado, no vamos a ocupar did. Por eso elegí yo esta, estos ejercicios. Sino que cuando tenemos el verbo be, lo que vamos a hacer es darle vuelta. El oh. verbo be va al inicio. Are they? Oh. Ok, yeah. so, entonces sería 
Are they? ¿Cómo diría esto? Are they happy together? No, pero si digo, are they, let me see. Veamos. En presente, el verbo be es am, is, and are. ¿Sí o no? Eso es en presente. Pero en pasado, ¿cómo lo conjugamos? El verbo to be. Was. Was. Y were. Were. O. Where. where. Solo esas dos opciones tenemos. Was o where. O sea, esto es pasado. Y lo que está arriba es presente. Presente. Entonces, como ahorita estamos lidiando con pasado, estamos aprendiendo pasado, ¿cómo debería de ir la oración? Were they happy to go? Ah, very good. Were. They. Happy. Together. Vamos a ver si lo tenemos bien. Hey, were they happy together? Very good. So that's the first. Were they happy, to, were they happy together? Okay, what about the second one? ¿Quién me ayuda con la segunda? Ahí escríbanlo en el chat, please. No one, no one. Okay, I got one here. Let us take a look at it. Where they talk about their humor, that's Joanna, okay? Joanna nos coloca este ejercicio por acá. Uh, what, what is the verb here? ¿Cuál es el verbo en, es, en esta? Stop. Seguimos, seguimos con el verbo be. No. Con este? no, entonces este no lo vamos a ocupar, ¿ok? Did they talk about their homework? Ok, now look at it. Recuérdense, si es otro verbo, entonces vamos a utilizar el auxiliar. Did. Yes. Did they talk about their homework? Ok, let us show the answer. Did yes. they talk about their homework? Good. Excellent, Rosa and also Roxana. Okay, did they talk about the homework? Okay, what about the soup? What's what's hot? The soup was hot. Yeah, the, the soup, soup was hot. Was hot. Did mm. did the soup is hot? Mm. Did the soup oh, is it, hot? It, it, no. It's, um, oh no! Was the what? soup is hot? That the soup. What was the soap hot? Ah, oh, okay. Somebody what? got it here. Okay, type it in the chat, please. Get them in the chat. Okay. What the soap hot? Okay, okay. Joanna, thank you, and Rosa, thank you. So it's over here, right? Hey, was the soap hot? Let's see the answer. Good. Was the soup hot? Pretty good. Now, what about this one? Number four. He played hockey every day. Did he play hockey every day? Did he play hockey every day? Okay, type it in the chat, please. Type it in the chat. Okay, I got Joanna. Joanna's answer. Hey, what happened? No, yes.
Hey, did he play hockey? Hockey goes with H. Ha. And you're missing the E. Hey, did he play hockey every day? Let us show the answer. Good. Did he play so hockey every day? Good. Let's go over this one. A raccoon ate Sally's lunch. And that is the last one, you know, it's about the raccoon. What's the answer there? Check it, please, and type it in the chat. Did Rakot eat Sally's lunch? Okay, type it. All right, I got uh Rosa's answer did a raccoon eat Sally's lunch? Wow, that's better. Did a raccoon eat Sally's lunch? Good. Let's see. I will check this. I will check the answer. Pretty good. Okay, so in, let me see. Roxana did a raccoon Sally's okay, did a raccoon eat? Eat. Do you anything? Eat. eat. Yeah. So we're gonna do something over here. I have some information that I consider is quite good to talk about just no questions in simple past. As you can see over here, we have yes, no question, but this is in present, right? Do or does. But when we go over the simple past tense, we're gonna encounter only one auxiliary, and that auxiliary is did. Okay. We have some other examples, such as, did you eat breakfast this morning? Hey, did you eat breakfast this morning, people? Aha, uh -huh, anybody in the group? Did you eat breakfast this morning? Yes, I ate. Yes, I did. I yes, I did. Yeah, or no, I didn't, right? Hey, did it rain last night? Yes. No, it didn't. No, yes. it didn't. didn't. Or you say, yes, it did, or no, yes, it, it didn't. Did. Yes, it did. Ah, yes, it did, right? Okay. Did you go on a trip last weekend? No, I didn't. No, you didn't. Did they attend the university together? No, they didn't. No, they did. Did the did the store give you a discount? Uh, yes, I did or no, I didn't. Or no, just ah, uh, yes, it did or no, it it didn't. It did. Yes, it did. Yes. It yes, it did. did. Okay, so you got a discount from the store. Okay, so. Remember that when you have a just no question with simple past, you have like three options. Say yes, comma, and then you continue like providing further information, such as I went to the concert. Yes, comma, I did. This is the easiest way to answer. Yes, I did, or yes. Notice that this is a long answer. We use the verb, but in the short answer, just use the past tense of the verb did. <laughs> did he study art in school? No, he didn't. Or yes, he did. Did I do a good job? Did I win? Did I forget? Did I forget something? 
did you like the movie? Did you have a good weekend? Did you major in biology, etc. Right? So you have a lot of questions here. And we have conversation number one and conversation number two. Hey, did you see the snowstorm last night? No, I didn't. I was asleep. Oh, man. It was crazy. It snowed for over six hours. There is so much snow in the jar. I don't think I can go to work. My work is already consulted. Call your work and find out. That is the first. Then you have the second one, and it is a uh, time for you to for you to practice. Okay. But acá tenemos algunas preguntas. Exactly, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Eight questions that I have here. So what are you going to do? Van a preparar ocho preguntas. Pueden ser estas o pueden ser otras. De las que ustedes le van a, pre a preguntar a sus compañeros acá en el grupo. Ok, you're going to have like, let's see, like, eight minutes. Ok, ten minutes will be alright. Diez minutos para, uh, para prepararse para una conversación. Ok, ahorita no la van a, no la van a practicar, no la van a crear, no. Se van a preparar con preguntas y respuestas. ¿Ok? Yo voy a decir quiénes son los que van a, que van a empezar la conversación. Okay, Gabriela, Lisset, I got it, okay? But the rest, you need to be ready.
Okay, hope you are almost ready. Hope you, you are almost ready to start with the conversation. Okay, ready people? I will stop sharing here and then we will see a couple of conversations. Vamos a ver quiénes se prepararon con las preguntas para conversar, okay? So let me see William and Roxana, please. William, Roxana. Um, William? Okay, did you get the questions, people? Uh, yes. Yes. Hello, Roxana. Uh, la número tres, no, no entendí cómo hacerla porque tu, tu compañera de trabajo es um, alegre, puede ser. Did, no, did your coworker work today? Tu compañero ah, de trabajo trabajó este trabajó. día. Ah, muy bien. Esa podría ser una, ¿no? Un ejemplo. Thanks, teacher. Okay. Now, hey, people, who created questions to, to have a, a short <laughs> conversation? Okay. Yo, por ejemplo, las, las dos primeras eh, oraciones, eh, yo las hice de esta manera. Did you dance when you were young? Yeah, okay, that's a good one. Okay, and the second, uh, did you go to the restaurant yesterday? Did you go to a restaurant yesterday? Okay, now let us try to create a short conversation. Vamos a tratar de crear una conversación pequeña. Elija a alguien del grupo, Roxana. Okay. It's right here, teacher. William, William Alfredo. Okay. So, William, yeah. okay, let us try to set a conversation. Vamos okay. a ver si logran entablar una conversación con las preguntas que han, que han creado, ¿ok? okay. Yo solo podía hacer tres, teacher. Solo tres preguntas. Alcancé a hacer. Ok. Ok. Hey, William, did you dance? When you were young? Sí, le 
Perdón, me lo podría repetir, por favor. Okay. Okay. Did you then when you were young? Hello. Yo creo que está mala, está malo. Teacher, la yeah, I can see that. Tengo. William facing some problems there. William, can you listen to everybody here? Tengo mala señal, teacher. Yeah, I can see that, William. Okay. Uh, Ro I'm sorry to know about it. Let's see. Uh, Roxana, choose somebody else, please. Uh, Anna? Okay, Anna. <laughs> okay, Anna. The same question for you. Did you dance when you were young? Repeat, please. Okay. Did you dance when you were young? No, I didn't. Um, I study every day. <laughs> That's, <laughs> that's right, but um, English, you lost right? the, the funny. <laughs> okay, ahora que ella me pregunte a mí o yo le sigo preguntando. Uh, well, uh, now let us give her the opportunity to ask questions, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, Abigail, I got it. Did you, teacher? Tell me, tell me. Ya hice, hice nada más cinco oraciones, pero no las que estaban ahí en. That's okay. It's estaba okay. Estaba proyectando. Okay, no problem. Go ahead. No sé si me podría corregir si están bien. Por ejemplo, eh, number one. Did you study when you were young? Did you study when you were young? Okay, good. Uh, number two. Did you work yesterday? Did yesterday? you work yesterday? Good. Uh, number three. Did you dance when you were children? Did you dance when you were children? Good. Uh, number four. Did you have breakfast last morning? Did you have breakfast last Monday? Today morning will be all right, okay? Number five. Did you get up late last weekend? Did you get up late last weekend? Only. Okay, so they, those are good questions. Hey, what is the purpose? ¿Cuál es el propósito? Uh, uh, en este momento quiero ver cómo crean alguna, alguna conversación, okay? Eso es lo que buscamos, una conversación corta. Okay. Okay, let's continue, Anna. Anna, who who's the person you will ask questions? Joanna. Okay, Joanna. Joanna's your opportunity. Here we go. Yes. Did you did you get up late last weekend? Yes, I did get up late. That was it? Um no. <laughs> did you did you dance when you were children? No, I didn't. I don't like dance. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Did you have breakfast last morning? Um, 
Yes, I did. I eat my breakfast. Only teacher. Only that. Okay, so let's see. Yeah. We're... Uh huh. Only that will be okay. So that's really good. Now we're gonna do something, people. El día de mañana. Eh, si Dios permite, nos volvemos a encontrar. Eh, necesito que nos hagan una una presentación o que nos cuenten qué es lo que hicieron en vacaciones, ya sea en las agostinas o en las de Semana Santa, ¿ok? Pero necesito que nos cuenten qué sucedió en ese tiempo, a dónde fueron, qué hicieron, qué no hicieron, ¿ok? Para el día de mañana. Pueden comenzar a trabajarlo. Voy a pasar lista ahorita. ¿Ok? Ok. Ok, okay. let's see. Ok. Abigail. Elizabeth, Abigail. Ana María García. Present teacher. Ana María Emily. Present teacher. Carlos David Santos. Daniela Alejandra Martínez. Present teacher. Okay. Diana Saraí. Present teacher. Emma Débora. Eva Margarita. Present. Gabriela Lisset. Jacqueline Janet. Joana Guadalupe. Present. Carla Olivia. Present. Melissa Giselle. Present. Raúl Alexander. Rosa Elizabeth. Present teacher. Good. Rosa Feliciana. Present. Roxana Yanira. Present teacher. Ruth Perdón, Noem... perdón me voy a salir ya porque aquí está tronando bastante, teacher. Ok, ok. It's, there's no problem. Ok. See you tomorrow. Good night. See you tomorrow. Ok. Zaira okay. okay. Abigail. Ruth Noemi presente, teacher. Uh, Ruth Noemi, ok, very good, thank you. Uh, Zaira Abigail. Sara Vanessa. Silvia Noemi. Present, teacher. Stephanie Carolina. Present, teacher. Swani. Present. Wilder. Teacher. William Vladimir. William Alfredo, Jancy Stephanie, present, and Jenny Guadalupe. Okay, so do me the favor to continue working. We still have like two or three minutes, and then it will be over. Okay, tarea que tienen para mañana, Gabriela Lisette. Give me, give me a second, Gabriel. Gabriela Lisa Ramirez. Um, teacher, yo no sé si me logró escuchar que dije present. Abigail, no yo la. Abigail Elizabeth. Sí, sí. Abig ok, thank you, Abigail. Gracias. Ok, now Carlos David, Emma Débora. Jacqueline Chanet, eh, Raúl Alexander, Zaira Abigail, Sara Vanessa, William Alfredo, eh, Jenny Guadalupe. Ok, so. Ok, so you know it perfectly what's coming tomorrow, right? Mañana. Necesitamos que se preparen con una presentación de qué es lo que sucedió durante sus vacaciones este año. 
¿ok? Lo que hicieron, lo que no hicieron, lo que le gustó, lo que no le gustó, ¿ok? So that's what we're gonna do for tomorrow. Esa es la tarea. ¿Preguntas? No. No, so I think we're gonna stop right here. Nos vamos a quedar acá, ¿ok? Y nos vemos el día de mañana. Good night. Okay, good night. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night. See you tomorrow. <clears throat>